Well, this is Mobien. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPM families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Holy, 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 of this very planet on this very day the 10th day of May in the year of Elohim 2020 for some people a mothering Sunday I welcome all our mothers those who are celebrating those who have remembered on this very day we shall say a special prayer for our mothers when the time is appropriate. But for now, I must first of all welcome each and every one of you, regardless of where you are domiciled, regardless of your circumstance, insofar as you have found the time to participate in this wonderful gospel this evening, this very day that Chukwoki Kabiyama has determined that the zoo must fall, then I welcome you by saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. Because unlike any other, this very broadcast is listened to across the length and the breadth of this very planet Earth. And as I welcome you, I will, of course, encourage you to welcome those who are around you. We are live and we are direct, and Elohim is bearing us witness as we do so. Our mission is a very simple one, 
to restore the kingdom of heaven upon the face of this very earth. And that is precisely what we are going to do by sticking rigorously and uncompromisingly to the truth, by making sure that we remain whiter than white and whiter than snow, by ensuring that we shall always be without fear before our enemies, that we will help those who are unable to help themselves, and of course, be of courage and good conduct, that we love him in heaven may love us. That is what we have come to do, and that is what we must accomplish. My name is Enam Kano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And by the very special grace of Elohim, Chukukika Biyama Prumi Henine, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, I will dispense with protocol and proceed, of course, to our prayers this very evening because we must pray that the zoo has collapsed is as a result of the grace of Elohim upon our lives. As Chukwakika Biyama promised us and as was revealed to me in the year 2014, I was told that Buhari is the key to freedom and I preached it on this very platform and I said that this very dictator this brutal, evil, wicked mass murderer is our passport to freedom. And today it has happened. The zoo has collapsed. It has collapsed completely and totally. There is nothing holding it. This evening I shall prove it to you. This evening that the whole world is listening. I will prove it beyond every reasonable doubt. That Biafra is only a matter of months away if we do that which is right before God in heaven and the conscience of men on this very earth. We must pray. We must call upon the Most High Elohim who has despised all the difficulties, all the challenges and tribulations have brought us to where we are today. And we are just saying thank you but before we do so, we must call upon Elohim because rather than diminishing, our enemies will continue to increase because that is how it is with the children of light. For no reason they will despise us, for no reason they will hate us. When the Jews were being killed all over Europe for decades, or should I say for centuries, when they were being persecuted all around the world, for no other reason, for the blessing of God upon the life of Israel, upon the life of Jews all over the world. It wasn't because they fell foul of any mortal law. It wasn't because they did anything wrong. It was because of their ingenuity, their industry, their love of God and God's blessing upon them. That is why they were despised and hated. The same thing is happening to their friends all over the world. Wherever we are, they will come after us. Whatever we we'll do, they will find a fault with it. That is why we must remain resolutely and indefatigably glued to the world of Elohim, to the words of Jukwakika Biam and the promise he gave to our ancestors. That same promise we are adding on today to declare that Biafra is only months away. I'm not saying years away. I said months away because the zoo has crumbled. The zoo has collapsed. All their intrigue, all their lies, all their deception have been unraveled and the whole world is aware of it. That is why the zoo has collapsed. For the grace of Elohim, not anything that we have done, man cannot take the glory that belongs to God. That is why we will praise him. That is why we shall adore him. Has any day in such in a cake? Has any day in such a half and cousin like in the other? 
I was in the spirit. I was I felt like preaching, but I will preach tonight because the zoo has fallen. The zoo has collapsed completely and precipitously. I rejoice in the Lord for I have seen the fall of the enemy. Fraser Rock has collapsed. They cannot glue it back together again. It is not the making of man, it is the making of Elohim in heaven. Therefore, we must give him praise now and always. If you have joined this very broadcast, you are blessed. If you are part of this 
very unique gospel Lord, we preach this very evening you are a very lucky soul because you are witnessing history history wrapped in truth you are witnessing the collapse the absolute collapse complete collapse of this logical republic that is what you are witnessing that is what you are witnessing absolutely and totally without any equivocation the enemies will come and they will fall they cannot succeed not now not tomorrow not ever if you have not brought your pen and paper and as I would say, a very tiny dose of common sense. I do not understand how you are going to participate in this very program or be able to understand it this evening. The whole world is listening rapturously and attentively for this very gospel and we shall endeavor to the best of our ability and by the grace of heaven to do justice to that which we have been sent to do. And we'll start this very evening by playing for you the very prophecy that has led us to where we are today. A prophecy ignored. When this prophecy was prophesied, the forces of darkness rebelled against it. They called us all manner of names. They tried all they can and all they could within their powers to demoralize us. They tried to ridicule this very heavenly project. They tried to say that we were not sent by Elohim. They said that Biafra will not come in their time. But behold, Elohim said that I will crumble the zoo. He said we should go forth and preach this gospel without fear. That the zoo will fall. I went to Abom for 30th of May in 2015. And during that very rally in Abom, I proclaimed under the supervision and spiritual guidance of heaven that the zoo must fall and today the zoo has fallen and this was the very prophecy that started it a prophecy that was made when i was in prison that same prophecy i'm going to play for the whole world to hear today to bear witness Witness to what we have to preach this evening. Witness that you may know that we are led in spirit by instructions from heaven. That you may know. Listen very, very carefully. He's not an evil man. He is not. One of the very few genuine men of God, if there's anything like that. Listen to what he had to say. And I want you to situate this very prediction into the happenings of today. That if you had any doubts before that Chukukika, Biyama, and the God we worship is with us this evening, you will be doubly convinced. Listen very carefully, please. Listen very, very carefully. I am trying to get this thing to work. I am trying to get it to work. That everybody may know that we have defeated Satan. That Satan has fallen. That Satan has crumbled this very day. Listen very, very carefully, please. I beg of you. Listen attentively. And very, very quiet, please. It is very, very important that you follow this. I want it to be followed from the beginning. From the very beginning. I heard. 
iPhone and iPad. Now we are trying to, this whole thing, iPhone only heaven knows why it is behaving this way. I do not know what is happening to our system this evening, but I will try to play it direct from here. You fight an ideology. Listen. An ideology is like a spirit. You can fight an ideology. You can't use gun and bullet to stop an ideology. The are you listening? An ideology, you engage it with wisdom. The only bullets that can kill an ideology is the bullet of knowledge. Wisdom. Wisdom. The only way, <laughs> the only way to deal with the ideology is to go back to the founder of the ideology and he program the ideology and stand at the central processing unit of the ideology and make sure it is rightfully corrected. So that if you remove the leader, have you removed the ideology? There are more crazy Namdi Kanu that will come up after Namdi. They are just hiding under him. The only way to kill this is not by gun and bullets. It's by engaging with proper dialogue, with knowledge and wisdom. This was years ago. This cry we are hearing here is not a cry of children, it's a cry of adults. Listen. The only way, I, I am not an advocate that Nigeria sh should separate, God forbid. No. But I'm saying, the best way to handle this, listen to the cry of the children. Sit down. Everything is not gone and bullets. When you take the leader away, okay, take the leader away. The next, how many people are on the streets? Do you know how many spirit of Biafra have entered people? Do you know how many? I'm a you know, the millions are carrying the spirit of Biafra. The spirit is everywhere. So if you kill the leader or you take the leader away, from you take the spirit from everybody. Ojuku is not here, but Biafra is alive. It's an ideology. The man who started it has left. Before he left, he kept quiet and lived peacefully and left. But the generation that have come have picked it up. And it's even worse than his own now. Are you listening? And they are engaging it with an idea. With with knowledge. With knowledge. We have come with knowledge. The best way to deal with this is not gun and bullet. It's not gun and bullet. When the revolution want to start, the revolutionist, the first thing that we do, that we pass the idea and impregnate their followers. The only way to stop it is to stop them before they impregnate the followers. Are you listening? When the followers are impregnated, uh, that's all. All of them are carrying pregnancy. They will soon deliver to other children. If you if you have two million Biafra, you already have four million Biafra. Because they are selling their ideology. And now I don't have a problem. But my, my own concern is that you don't take women's life. The best way to do that, you engage them in their ideology. If you feel their ideology is not correct, you dialogue. You sit down with them. If dignifying them will make them feel important, then do that. Are you listening? He was preaching this in a church before his congregation. Listen. We're we killing people and we're getting excited. No! Boko Haram is a terrorist group. Uh -huh. And he stopped them from killing. Are they not still killing? They're still killing. Did he start it as a peaceful group? Yes. Are you listening to what he said? Boko Haram started as a peaceful group, peaceful movement. The reason why Boko Haram is violent today is because of Nigerian politicians and those that serve in their armed forces. Listen very carefully. That is the truth. We must continue. This, this very prophecy of this man, I want you to understand it. Before we go into the uh, mop up of the zoo, the zoo has fallen. Before we mop it up this evening, what the ideology crazy? Yes, how do you engage it? Engage the leaders, and you see, some of these things are very spiritual. Are you following it? They are very spiritual. This is a man, spiritual, very sp see, something that can die within 15 days. It can stay there for 15 years. Are you listening? Because the way leaders are handling it. It is spiritual. The issue of Biafra is so simple. We have more kind of men in the spirit. Is this what you want? Then come for... Okay, let's do a referendum. 
Let's see how popular this your thing is. Referendum. Uh, restructure Nigeria. Restructure, no. Referendum, no. Yes, oh, Today you have fallen. Make them feel important. As this man said it would. How did the unrest in Niger Delta die? Yara Dua did dialogue. That's the best way. This thing, da, 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 everything, everything. Everything, go on, go on, go on, shoot. Let's cross them. Let's cross. Let's shoot. It goes nowhere. No, we are. The world is too civilized. Look at America. Look at the way they abuse Trump and they say everything. They got with those bands and tweet again. He tweet and continue his life. They abuse Trump every day. All Trump does is to tweet. In the zoo, they are jailing a 72-year-old man, 72, that he insulted a dead man. Buhari who is dead and buried in a shallow grave in Saudi Arabia. The most powerful man in the world is Donald Trump. The seat of the U.S. president is the most powerful throne on this very earth. You can insult him however you like. He, yesterday, the governor of New York, Governor Cuomo, was insulting Trump. Before that, the governor of California. Before that, the mayor of New York. And they're all free, serving in their offices, if it is in a backward, diseased zoo like Nigeria. They'll say, bring him, let's jail him, let's put him in jail, let's lock him up. And all of you are clapping. When evil is happening, you're clapping. You don't know that that evil is coming straight at you. Let us listen to a genuine man of God. This is what you call civilization. Civilization. That is what you call. You can abuse me to hell. Say whatever you want to say. It doesn't stop it. I am the president and I am the commander in charge of wherever you are. You abuse, but I'm still your president. These things are just simple maturity. Maturity. To fill a political office is not maturity. It's an appointment. Are you listening? I started talking about Biafra before this happened. Are you listening? Now, He's a Yoruba man. Let's kill this thing. He's a Yoruba man. Dialogue. 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 Mm -hmm. Even we as fathers, our children will just do some things like, and we see it very They are begging the zoo to dialogue and they said no. Are you listening? listening? And let them talk. And when they talk, what do we do? We trust and, and advise them. Sitting down at the table and talking and talking, even to take us to discuss for one month. For life not to be lost is more important than losing lives. If we are to engage in the canoe and all the Biafra discussing, discussing, young man, what do you want? We keep, let's do navigate in discussing and losing millions of souls. Discussion, dialogue will never kill anybody. Are you listening? Bullets we kill. Yes. Give Jesus a clap of it. Now you understand a genuine man of God preaching. I wanted to give you a background. Now understand where the zoo is from when this very man spoke. I said that Elohim would destroy the zoo and the zoo has fallen. We have trapped them inside us rock. As I'm speaking, be writing it down on a piece of paper so you can do your research later on. Right now, they are like caged animals within a zoo in Asorok. They are caged completely. What they have done with Osibajo, I have no idea. It is for the Yorubas to rise up and ask for their son. The same way Biafrans rose and asked for me when I was kidnapped, when I was abducted by the forces of the zoo. I don't know what is wrong with some people when you say, go and find Osibajo, they take offense. I don't know why, but this evening we will tell you what Osibajo's disappearance portends for the collapse of the zoo. Because we have trapped them in Asorok. And as I go, I will mention the time so you understand it. The time now is precisely half past 7 p.m. in the land of Biafra. Half past 7 p.m. in the evening in the land of Biafra. If you check your time now, it's exactly the same number of minutes. Every clock in the world right now, it is at half past. That's how you know we are live and we are direct. And that mankind is listening. Humanity is paying us homage today. We have trapped them inside that rock. 
the diseased remnant few of the cabal. They are trapped inside that swamp, holding Osibajo hostage, hostage, live hostage. If he survived the COVID-19 attack, I have no idea, but they infected him. If he's alive, I do not know. But what I'm telling you this evening is pure gospel, that Nigeria has collapsed because there is no government. None whatsoever. What you have are janja weed with AK-47 all over the place. In military uniform, army, police, um, customs, um, uh, what they called again, uh, civil defense. There is no more Nigeria. Nigeria is gone. Piece by piece, this evening, we decimate the zoo. Complete this. Every time I ask for your super job, what are they going to tell you? The same response. The same thing they did when Buhari died. The same thing they did any time they go missing. The same line. Photoshop after Photoshop. Edited video after edited video. Then the same line of explanation. Where is he? They always tell you that in accordance with the guidelines of um, NCDC, he has been observing social distancing, thereby limiting physical engagements. He has been working from his office, using teleconferencing to continue his official duties. He is working as the chairman of the Economic and Sustainability Committee, a committee so that every time you ask them, where is the super job? This is the answer you get. In the middle of a pandemic, now you have a vibe. Listen, I oh, just common sense, only simple, tiny common. Listen very carefully. The elected vice president of the country is heading an economic, a subgroup, economic and sustainability committee. Whereas somebody who is an ordinary government appointee, a political appointee with no constitutionally recognized shelf life he has no tenure no life can be sacked tomorrow morning he's the one leading the government's response in the midst of the worst crisis that can ever affect any country apart from war this is even worse because in war you see your enemies here you don't see anybody i want you to reason very carefully the person you claim you voted for as your vice president who should be deputizing in the absence of the president which is quite obvious isn't it is now heading a subcommittee listen carefully that reports to a man who was appointed only a few months ago now you understand it do you see that the zoo has fallen that there is no president, no vice president, not even ordinary chief of staff. They have none. They cannot replace Abakiari because there are three camps in Asarok. Aisha Buhari's camp. This camp that are loyal to Mama and Daura. And they camp the remnants of those, the cabal that Abakiari built. They know they are in trouble. That is why they are all fleeing. That is why they are all running, all of them. Asorok is empty. And this evening, I can tell you categorically that the person running Nigeria, as at this moment, if you know anybody that has access to Asorok, you ask them. The person running Nigeria right now and dishing out contracts is Aisha Buhari. This very night, this very minute. Because there is no president. Buhari is dead in Saudi Arabia in a grave. Ushiba Jo is out of the picture. Completely taken out of the picture. There is nobody you voted for to run Nigeria. That is there. Absolutely none. There is nobody there. It is the illegitimate first lady. Illegitimate. Because her tenure ends when her husband died. That was the end of Aisha Buhari's tenure as first lady. Mrs. Oshibajo should be the first lady. Oshibajo should be the president of Nigeria. But due to a combination of fear and cowardice, fear and cowardice, treachery, some people are not able to rise up 
and demand to see what the constitution say must happen happen listen very carefully the person who is in charge of nigeria as at this moment this very second with the time now at what is the time approximately 24 minutes to eight is aisha buhari aisha buhari is, in, is the nigerian president now that is why they have not appointed any replacement chief of staff are you following why should it take so long that's why i asked you to bring your pen and your paper write it down common sense when you go back you reflect and you ponder you reflect and you ponder you understand what they are doing with you you will understand the game and the tricks they are playing with you and why you have allowed them to get away with it for a very long time it is your fault you that call yourselves nigerians it is your fault that you're in a mess it is your fault that you're getting an imaginary distributed all over the place it is your fault your fault that a woman who shouldn't be in Asorok is there now as your president aisha buhari she is the one now in charge you are in a country where people cannot muster the courage to say, I want to see the vice president that I voted for. I want to see, to see and hear the president address me live. But with the advent of new technology, just having somebody making a live broadcast is no longer enough. Because this evening, I'm going to show you and tell you all the tricks they play. We need the truth. We need people to come out and to confess their sins before they start going to prison in handcuffs one after the other. I know they finally won't arrest their own. Of course, we know that very well. We know they won't. But they are going to jail. What Aisha Buhari is doing now is a worse treason. Worse treason than her, her husband. What Buhari did in 1983 by overthrowing Shagari. This is high crimes and misdemeanor. What Aisha is doing is a hanging offense. In any civilized country, it's a hanging offense. Nobody voted for her. Before her, nobody voted for her backyard. Nobody did. But due to your cowardice and your docility, your gossipy nature, your gossipy Always, um, almost comical existence. That is what was why none of these things were taken seriously. And today you're suffering the consequences. You are the laughing stock of the world. Now, do you understand why all the foreign companies, sorry, foreign countries and, and of course companies took away all their nationals? That time that plane was coming and taking people away. We kept wondering, but why are they taking people? What have they seen that we have not seen? Now, have you seen what they have seen? They knew everything. As soon as the cabal decided to render Osibajo impotent, you know what they did? Countries started airlifting their people out of the zoo because they know there is going to be a breakdown of law and order. There is going to be chaos in Nigeria. They know there is no government. That was why they airlifted their people out. Go and ask anywhere in the world if people airlifted 90% of the diplomats out of the territories they're in. The answer is no. Now, are you following? Now, are you following? My question this evening is this. Why is it that you have Yoruba constitutional lawyers People that say they are sophisticated. People that say they went to school. They fail to understand one thing. That a law on a piece of paper. A constitution is only words written on a piece of paper. For it to have any relevance or any bite, so to speak. It must be enforceable. What you're saying in effect is that. The Nigerian constitution does not recognize Oshibajo as the vice president of Nigeria. That is why boss Mustafa, 
who is a political appointee is the one running the government's response to COVID-19. We are asked, the person you elected to do that very job, Usi Bajo, they are, they are holding him hostage. Now you understand why the zoo has fallen. Not that the zoo will fall, it has already fallen. There is no. Now imagine what is going to happen when all these things comes out in the open. Have you asked yourselves the chaos that is going to ensue when all these things are laid bare in the open? Have you ever for one moment sat down to consider the calamitous consequences of what Aisha Buhari is doing? And the rest of the North, have you asked yourself that? No, you have not. Now you know why countries and governments of the world evacuated their people. You must know why they evacuated their people. Now you understand it, don't you? Now you understand it, don't you? I have to take a sip of water because this is a live presentation, not like the zoo. Photoshop, video shop, everything is fake. Tonight, we render them asunder. Tonight, I'm proving to you that Nigeria no longer exists. What you're doing, you're just merely existing in a British-defined geopolitical space. As a country, Nigeria has ceased to exist. That's what I'm trying to prove to you tonight. The person, can you imagine the irony? The person you voted for to do a particular job has been kidnapped. If you ask them, they show you a video. The world has advanced. People can do anything with, as I will demonstrate to you tonight, people can do whatever they like with videos these days and pictures. It's irrelevant. People want to see, feel, and touch Usibajo because you people are liars. That was why you brought in the Chinese as I knew. That's why they came. Not just for to test vaccine on us. Not just because of all the assets they are stripping and taking back to China. You brought them in to bring a new generation of deep fake videos and photoshopping techniques. And But as I said, we have everything. We have everything. So you're wasting your time. The sooner you come clean, the better. The sooner Aisha Buhari comes out to hand herself over to whoever that will put chains on her wrist. Handcuffs, the better for them. They are all, you see what coronavirus is doing? They, they are all going to fall. They better go and stop committing suicide. Because no matter how stupid and how hopeless zoo people are, those who use tissue paper, Nigerians, they will not forgive them for this. They will never ever forgive them for this. They have now uh, gotten into a lot of trouble, haven't they? There is something I don't want to understand about my Yoruba brothers. I don't understand this thing about my Yoruba brothers. I don't understand it. Is it that you hate your own son? Or you are afraid of asking the Fulani to produce your son for you? I'm just asking because... Um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't know where the brain of Nigeria, and I can't see any camera in there, but where are you, your thinking faculties? Where are they? Nigerians, where are your thinking faculties? I'm asking you. I know that their friends can reason, I know that very well. I am asking Nigerians, where are your thinking faculties? Can you reason at all? Now, listen, this is a a, a very important news being carried by Tinubu's newspaper, The Nation. In a country that practices democracy, where they claim the president is alive, where they claim the vice is alive, of course we know that contrary is the case. Look at the headline. Aso Villa, and they are saying it with pride. These are people that claim they are educated. These are people that claim they are enlightened. These are people that claim sophistication. These are people that claim to be These are people that claim they are the elite. I want to read a headline for you. I 
don't even know if people actually read these things and digest. And I don't know if people just read and do they actually assimilate and digest what they're reading? Also, Villa is the headline. A new force tries to dismantle the cabal. A new force is now position, positioning themselves inside us rock to take over from the cabal of Abakiari. Can you whereas you have a vice president? Hey, Arwe man. Hey, democracy. Democracy in Nigeria. Unbelievable. Un, 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 can you, let, I want to read it for you. They said a fresh power play is covertly in place in the presidential villa with a new force trying to dismantle the hitherto powerful cell, otherwise called the cabal. Since the illness and eventual death of the late chief of staff, Malama Bakiari, it has been difficult for some members of the cabal. Are you people following? Are you listening? The chief of staff died, so they led us to believe. Abakiari. And upon his death, there is a new power tussle inside us rock. Not that the president died, no. The president is alive somewhere. Ordinary chief of staff died, and they say there is a power tussle that the cabal has been weakened. Can you believe such garbage coming from a national newspaper? People read these things. The, hey, hey, God in heaven. Hey, hey, I want to read for you, please. So people can understand the man. I want to let you know that from the news coming from your own Nigeria, I want to use the same news to prove to you that you have no government. I want to use the same news to prove to you that your country doesn't exist. You only exist on paper, maybe on tissue paper. Or uh, a used one for that matter. I don't know. Besides the read that I'm reading from Nation newspaper, besides the redeployment of the permanent secretary of the state house, Mr. Jalal Arabi, the access accreditation tag of the prominent member and name withheld was withdrawn to enable the power broker apply as a visitor. All these things are happening. Hey, here. All these things. Imagine now, for instance, the chief of staff to Trump dies and you hear maybe washington post or wall street journal say that is a new power tussle inside the um, white house that inside that, that that because of that power tussle going on that w somebody who was a very close ally of donald trump will now have to go and apply as a visitor to come to white house because don't listen listen to this because donald trump's chief of staff is now dead does that make sense to you does that make sense to anybody? Does that make sense to anybody? I'm asking you. Those who are who 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 can reason, what what is happening in does that make sense to an ordinary average person? That is Nigeria for you. They said that listen, oh, this is Tinubu paper. A new force is emerging, and everyone is being careful to avoid belonging to a wrong camp as i told you that is a power tussle that is why they have not appointed a new chief of staff did i not tell you that have you seen it justified proven that we are always right always right what they are saying is that aisha buhari is on a revenge mission she was kicked out of her quarters humiliated the daughter of abba kiyari locked Aisha Buhari's room. And said she wouldn't go in. Now is revenge. All those people that worked with Abba Kiari, now Aisha is denying them access to the villa, to Asorok. Are you following? This is a country that elected a president and a vice. And in all this nonsense, you're asking yourself, which of the cabal belongs to the vice president? At least he's a, he's a deputy, isn't it? None. Where is he? Let's forget that. Where is the vice president? You can't find him. But where is he? Oh, no. He is heading economic uh, uh, reconstruction committee. Do you see what they're doing to your brain? And uh, what? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I, don't, I can't understand this speaking. I don't understand. Are you following they are now camps. This one wants their own person to be the de facto president. This, 
that because of that, Aisha Buhari is now in charge, and there is nobody. I repeat, there is nobody in charge of the zoo. The zoo has collapsed. The zoo is gone. Are you following? Are all of you following what is happening in the damnable zoological republic? If there is a vice president, uh, that shouldn't he automatically inherit the presidency? Even if you claim, albeit falsely, that Buhari is there but he can no longer perform, is it not the job of the vice president to assume leadership? In the absence or incapacitation of the president, as constitutionally mandated, why all this cabal business? Why do you have cabal when you have the VP? Why cabal when you have a president? And I keep asking all those that know the old Buhari, if you at all you knew him. Do you think he's a man that will sit around and cabals will be running all over the place, running his administration? The answer is no. He will not allow that to happen. People that know him should fight. The reason why I don't hate anybody, I don't hate any group, I am not an ethnic bigot, but what I'm saying is, why is it that our learned people, the senior advocates from Yoruba land, why are they quiet? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Because I know that if um had follow me or fell in alive, this nonsense will be happening. They will grant international press conference and they will spill everything out. That's what I'm asking. So Nigerians are now living in a climate of hypocrisy and deceit. Not just from Asarok, but from those you expect to know better. If you have a president and a vice, why do you have cabals running all over the place according to a national newspaper? The Tinobu's paper. Why and the people say it as if it is just fun? <laughs> it doesn't, our cabal it went to them, they didn't let us in. Their own cabal is stronger today. Uh, uh, my, my, Madame is the one in charge now. Their own cabal is strong. Can you imagine such rubbish? And you're wasting. No wonder there is no coordination in anything. No wonder there are lies everywhere. No wonder nobody can be paid. No wonder you have bandits and terrorists all over the place. No wonder everything is disjointed. Because there is no cohesion. There is no leadership. There is no direction. There is no purpose. Or even sense of purpose. All are missing. Why? Because they lied to themselves. They deceived all of you. They used fake videos and fake photos to be deceiving you since 2017. And people are thinking to themselves, my Yoruba brothers are thinking, oh, maybe because you want, you're looking for Biafra. If you are looking for Nigeria, we would have supported you. What you're saying is the truth. But we can't support you because you want to break Nigeria. If you break Nigeria now, we will be left alone with only the Fulani. And one day they'll just come and pick us up one after the other. That's their fear. But I'm saying we are here. We can't allow Fulani to invade Yoruba land. It's not going to happen. But you must stand on the side of the truth. Always. That's all we are saying. We used to have our own portion of the flavors. You have them in their fall and all over the place. But we have not allowed them to, to come up because they are evil and we know them. That is a position that our brethren in the West must aspire to. I want all of us to be free. I want everybody to be free. Middle belt, the West, the East. There's everywhere to be free. Then people can decide what they wish to do with their lives. What is happening now in the zoo is a travesty. It is a shame. It is a disgrace. You have no government. Absolutely none. Every day they bring out an ordinary secretary to the government. Not even the Senate president. Not even the House speaker. And all of you are quiet. You keep him very quiet. I see nothing is normal. But of course it's not. And you are the laughing stock. Aisha is now firmly in charge. 
There are not some shameless sacrifices in women who go there, even near, as they knelt down before Tinubu asking for governorship of Enugu state and asking to be made the vice president of the zoo. I'm sure some of them will even run shamelessly to that kneel before Aisha and be begging for contract. Uh, usually, when they go, they go with the CVs of their children to say, oh, Can you make my son or my daughter something or give them an appointment somewhere? As I said, from their mistakes, we shall judge them. From their mistakes, we shall judge them. And that's what we are doing. We, I asked many, many weeks ago, I asked and I kept asking, as I also posted this very a little earlier, before we came live on air. I asked, I posted, and I said, where is Oshibajo? We started this very quest to find him. And yesterday night, their presidency, uh, not president, uh, what you have is presidency. Very soon you will have vice presidency. It is a joke. An absolute and complete joke. Now I want you to understand this. Presidency is now telling people to ignore what the Khan is saying. Ignore everybody asking after a fellow human being. We are asking out of concern. We care. I've told you before. That Toshiba is a gentleman and I like him. I've said it. I have not hidden my admiration for him, but I've not hidden it. He's a gentleman. I've said it many times. I am within my right, it's just like filing a habeas corpus in a court to ask to compel all the authorities or whoever to produce the body of somebody that they are holding. That's what we are doing. Asking you to produce a supervisor. They have now look at a whole government of the most populous country in the world. The government of over 200 million people, so they claim. I want to read out their response to a legitimate question, concern and search for their own vice president. He is not the Biafran vice president. He is the Nigerian vice We are asking them. We are helping them to find their own... Isn't it very ironic? Biafran's... Uh, uh, pulling Nigerians to, to help find their own vice president. Isn't it very ironic? Presidency responded. Ignore the claims of those. What claim are we making? We said bring out the man. You're saying we're making. We don't make any claims. Bring him out. They can't bring him. He said, they said, forget it. A whole vice president in the middle of a pandemic. All they can say is ignore those asking after a vice. Unbelievable. Let me read it for you. The presidency, mind you, not the president. Not the, the presidency. This is the first time in my life I am hearing about presidency running a country. In all my life, I know that you are either a president or a prime minister, a premier, a vice chancellor, a chancellor running a country. I have never heard of the chancellor because where you have a chancellor as head of state, the next thing that the 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 the, the sub departments under is called the chancellor. I have never heard of the chancellor of Germany or the premier, the 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 prime minister's office in in in, in London or the presidency of Donald Trump. Hey, what I hear is President Trump. Hey, all I hear is the president of the or President Macron. Have you heard of the French presidency before? Have you? I am asking all those who said as senior advocates of Nigeria, Grand Commander of the Nigerian uh, Order, uh, Order of the Niger, uh, ONE, ONO, uh, even those you nobody, know, I'm asking all of you. Have you ever heard of the presidency of South Africa? Have you ever heard of the presidency of Ghana or the presidency of Tanzania or the presidency of Kenya or presidency of Mozambique? Have you in your lives before? Now, why are you answering the presidency in Nigeria? The reason why you're answering the presidency is because there is no president. Presidency is a group of people, a cabal, a group of people. And was introduced under Abakiari. 
I want all of you to go back to 2015 and 2016. It's an assignment. Write it down on a piece of paper. Go back to 2013. 2014, 2015. Go back from a person just time. Go through every statement issued, every publication issued, and count how many times under Basanjo, under Yanadua, under Jonathan, that the word presidency was used to describe the Nigerian um, president. Go and ask. Go and, go and check. This fashion of presidency only came in with these people. It came with them. The presidency on Saturday asked Nigerians to ignore claims on the whereabouts of President Muhammad Buhari and the vice. So the president, hey, she came here. So, oh God. Instead of bringing them out to come and do a live interview to say we are live as Obasanjo did when Obasanjo famously said, I did a campaign. Have you all forgotten? Or person just said I did a campaign to make you understand is him. Now, in the case, in the case of Nigeria, with Buhari dead and the super dog kidnapped, missing, they are issuing a statement and they said, anybody asking you about Buhari and the super dog, ignore them. Ignore them. That's what I said. Ignore them. Is that how to run a country? If Buhari were to be alive, will you ask people to ignore those asking for him? He will come out and he will speak for himself. Why are you asking people to ignore us? Because you know we are speaking the truth. You, you know that all of you are in trouble. Aisha Buhari knows that she is in trouble. All of you, you know, don't you? You know you're in a mess. You know you're all going to prison. All of you are going to jail. No country will accept you. What you have done is unpardonable. Aisha Buhari and all those who are in Asorok now, failure, your failure to tell the world, to speak the truth, that a democratically elected president is there, is a coup against the people. That's what you've done. Aisha Buhari, what you have done is a coup against the people. Your husband, when he was alive, did a coup against a government. What you have done is a coup against the people. Somebody said, even if I tell zoo people from now to 20 years that they cannot understand or do anything, yeah, but um that's how we come on isn't it so we must speak we must tell the world the truth who issued the statement this is a new one i've not heard of him before he is the uh, special assistant to the president on media and publicity special assistant to the president on media and publicity, office of the vice president, Laolu Akonde, another, another forger, another scammer. He came out and is lying. If you are Laolu Akonde's brother or sister or mother or father, know that your child will go to prison. Do you know why? He has actually roped himself in by coming out to defend what is in essence indefensible. Indefensible. Instead of them to get their so-called boy, bring him out now. I told you I will cage you. I told them, have you forgotten my program? I said it. By the time I finish with us on rock, that thing there will not come outside. That's what I said. I will cage him inside there. What is happening today? He is caged. Can't go anywhere. He's now looking for a way to run away. <laughs> and they've told him you're not going anywhere. He's in trouble with the rest of the zoo. All in trouble. When you are... have you Has anyone actually negotiated before with kidnappers? Have you watched any movie? About kidnappers, the way they behave? 
When they kidnap somebody and you ask them, no, don't ask about that person. Wait for our wait for our call. Is that how it works? It, once you you have kidnappers now, they kidnap somebody, you try to contact them, or you have the families looking for that very person, the kidnappers themselves will tell you, don't worry, don't call us, we'll call you. Is that how they work? That's what they're saying in that's rock. That means that uh, <laughs> see your, all is not well. Oh. Write it down. The time now is almost six minutes past 8 p.m. in Biafra. Write it down. Usiba Joy is in very serious mess, in big trouble. Why am I happy with Usiba Joy? Is to tell you about the failure, the collapse of Nigeria. The way Usiba Joy is being treated and being handled is an indication. It's not having a coronavirus symptom. If you have dry cough, you have headache, you have high fever. Mm, you are now symptomatic, isn't it? The way Osibajo's case is being handled is symptomatic of the fact that the state has collapsed in Nigeria, that there is a complete failure of governance, that the governing structure of Nigeria is on the floor. One morning they bring out Lai Mohammed to lie. In the evening is Boss Mustafa. The other time is the health minister. No, they are wearing something on the face. You don't know who is who. They are wearing face mask. It's over, isn't it? This is how the zoo collapsed and fell into pieces. And why they must all go to prison. Uh, I will, I will, I'm, uh, because by then, of course, Biafra will be gone. Uh, what, now, do you understand why I said after coronavirus, the whole thing will be over? <laughs> What's it, Wala? I know some idiots are trying to claim credit, saying they stand with the UNPO. I will deal with that trash later. I will dump it in the bin later on. Scrap pure nonsense. Rubbish. I'll put it in the bin. I'll deal with that later on. Then they now know we are closed. But let me tell Biafran something tonight. We are at the gate. We are in, our agitation is now is of course it's been irreversible from day one since I took charge. It is even more irreversible now than before. We are very, very close. Extremely close. I will be disappointed if not. Where they, listen, where are they going to run to? Uh, are they going to dig up Buhari from the grave in Saudi Arabia and bring him to speak to, to Nigerians after coronavirus? <laughs> after coronavirus is like pregnant. Coronavirus is like a pregnancy. Birth must be given to something after coronavirus. There must be something after coronavirus. Are they going to hide forever? No. So that is why I said that it's only coronavirus that is saving the zoo. The zoo is gone. It is gone. Completely. It doesn't matter how many Alamajiri they bring in, how many fighters they bring in from the Sahel. Uh, there are thousands going up. No. No. Somebody saying that uh, Lai Muhammad uh, has good prison for Lai Muhammad. <laughs> I would like to be the prison warder in the, in the prison that Lai Muhammad will be in. I am asking Nigerians tonight to go and read about a very recent revolution. See what happened in Russia. They have swept away the Communist Party. Go and read about it. Go and read. All it will take for Nigeria now to collapse is for people to march on the street. That's why I said it's only coronavirus that is saving them. Without corona, by now, people in Abuja would have gone to us a rock and the zoo will be over. It will be, it's just like the storming of the Bastille. The zoo will be gone. Nigeria, as at this time, Today, this very minute, Nigeria only exists on a piece of paper. Nigeria is only existing now on a piece of paper. It is nothing. It is gone. Why is Nigeria gone? Because, not because Buhari died and, uh, not because Buhari died or the situation is missing, no. It is because of something called high crimes and misdemeanors. High crimes. Whoever concealed the death of Buhari, whoever incapacitated Yemi Osibajo, has done a great disservice to humanity, to mankind, and to democracy. Unpardonable sin. Unpardonable. Unpardonable. What Aisha is doing is her doom and that of her family. Doomed completely. That the world will hear the name Buhari and it will go into a for dictionary. Buhari will be another name for fraud, for grand deception, for high crimes. What these people have done, what Abakiari did before he died, is the height of deceit. 
And Tinubu himself will go to jail because he knew about it. I think Kwabubaka will go to jail. He knew about it. Obasanjo will go to jail because he knew about it. Roger Sokocha will go to jail. He knew about it. All those that are part of this conspiracy to deceive 200 million people, they will all go to jail. All of them will go to prison. All by now. The, look at the statement. Don't ask after him. The statement of kidnappers trying to cover their tracks after killing the hostage. As somebody quite rightly pointed out, they said that as time passes, everything said against IPOB and Nam the Kano becomes relevant. And everything that Nam the Kano says becomes relevant before our eyes. You're seeing it. It's no longer film. Remember, they used to call me every name under the sun, everything they would call. Now they've run out of names. No more names. Used to be peddling fake news up and down. No more names. No more. What are you going to call me? It's over now. But everything I say is relevant. The names I call you is what is recognized all over the world that Nigeria is a zoo. But the names you call me cannot stick. But the name we give to you, stop. That goes to show that the world believes IPOB more than it believes Nigeria. So you don't know. <laughs> Go and ask Google <laughs> which country is a zoo. Or uh, who named Nigeria a zoo. Google will tell you. Tell us the name of the name Nigeria a zoo. <laughs> now you see how powerful we are. That is our Nelu Moko idiots running around. We, we went to UNPO. We are I laugh at them. That jokers, our men everywhere, <laughs> watching, watching and taking stock. The zoo has collapsed. IPOB is like a black mamba. Do you know the snake called black mamba? Everything in the snake is black. The mouth is black. The tongue is black. Everything is black. You know how it kills. A black mamba will strike you only once. And then it will go somewhere and sit down. And wait for you, the victim to die. The cap the toxins will paralyze your muscles, rendering you impotent and immobile. Then the snake will come back and start swallowing you from the head. Chukwuke Kabiama, Elohim Shadai Adonai has proven to us that he is our God. Chukwu Kikadama said, shame cannot be for IPOB, it's not possible. Because your hands are clean. And because your hands are clean, I will destroy Nigeria before your eyes. Chukwu Abiyama. That was why I said that the zoo will be the, in Somalia will be a better. After all, today Somalia has a president and a vice. <laughs> Nigeria doesn't. Chukwu Kikadama told me, I will destroy Nigeria for your sake. For your sake. Because your hands are clean. And will destroy it. There is a huge sacrifice that you get to pay. But I will destroy Nigeria for your sake. God told me. And I told you then. Is it not happening now? I spoke to you. June 2017. That was when I said. In my father's compound. Back in Biafra land. When they say, oh, Buhari is back from London. I said, that thing they brought, I called him that thing they brought, because it doesn't exist. That thing they brought back is not Buhari. Yeah, has it not played out today? Is it not true now? All of you that are doubting me, is it not very obvious now? Bring him out now to speak. He <laughs> cannot speak. You open your mouth, no words can come out. We have caged them. Complete caging. They can move. Total paralysis. We are not about to swallow them. I, I injected this poison of truth in June 27. It has taken them over two years to die. A simple injection. What killed the zoo is very simple, very tiny. Truth. Simple truth I spoke. 
in my father's compound, June 2017, that that thing you brought there is not Buhari. They said they'll kill me. For it, just who are talking. Oh, he, he ran away from Nigeria. You are a fool. You know why you're a fool? When I was out with my men, you know, back and you didn't do anything. You shot your guns. What happened? I went to Kulaka. Did you come? I smashed to the faces in Abakaliki. What happened? It was in the afternoon, like the car was the ah. I was sleeping in my bedroom and they came. The car was that they are. Cowards. Were we at war? Was I be fighting anyone with anybody? Did I declare war? Did I did I run away from battlefield? Was I fighting a war? No. I was only attending rallies. I was in my bedroom sleeping in, in the afternoon and they came to kill me. But Nigerian newspapers. The Lagos Ebadogota Media wrote that I was fighting war with Nigerian army in my in my bedroom in the afternoon, sleeping. Do you see how they twist everything? They have met their match in IPOB. They have not met their match, haven't they? Which country is Zoo? <laughs> the country called Zoo is Nigeria. It's in Google. Go and check it. Do you think the world that they are stupid? You don't have the videos? Was I at war with Nigeria? Was I fighting war with anybody? You came to my house to kill me. Because I told you then, in June of 2017, that that thing there is not Buhari. Buhari is dead in Saudi Arabia, I told you. The truth, very simple truth. So what is happening today? I am justified, am I not? <laughs> and they said he, he, he ran away from, from battle, from fight. I was in my bedroom, sleep, having an afternoon nap. If you are fighting, why didn't you warn me to say you're coming? You should have told me. On so so and so, they come to Abu. I was to take two million men to Abuja to collapse it. And the cowards they are. Instead of them to wait for me to come to Abuja to arrest me in Abuja, if they if they had the guts, they sneaked in in the afternoon to try to, to assassinate me in the afternoon in broad daylight. And I'm asking all the idiots, their eras, all those janja weed. And those who are upset because I told them the truth about how I was a thief and a mass murderer. A thief and a mass murderer. A thief and a mass murderer. That's the rubbish. Did Nigeria invite me to war? We are we at war. Did they was it going anywhere the one that Biafra was at war with anyone? That is how you're that is why you don't have a president, you don't even know. No vice. It doesn't affect you. You're waiting for 2023. Mad people everywhere. Mad. And after they, they, they mess you up, in terms of you work for, 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 for 2027. That's your life. Counting for four years. Like somebody who's in prison. Every for four years. Every for four years. Mad zoo people everywhere. Mad and insane. Used tissue paper all over the place. Mad people. It took this venom over two years. Or should I say nearly three years to take effect. 17, 18, 19, 20. Three years. And what were you doing? Every time you see Buhari, every time you talk about Buhari, you talk about something. You, do you see how foolish you are? What do you know? If it was the will of God that you should be on this seat that I'm occupying, God would have called you. You would have been chosen, but you were not chosen. Because you cannot see the things that we can see. And I said to your fans, we remain on this topic. You see, Jubail, we remain on it. Come hell, come high water. No matter their destruction, we remain on this topic. Because that is the key. And today, what has happened? What has happened, I'm asking you? This tiny IPOB, this inconsequential, rabble rousing group of miscreants, these towns, these jobless youths, we have collapsed the whole zoo, is now on the floor. There is a saying where we come from, when the heart 
of Ibonand. And then we wait to have one more come. That's who we are. You see us and you think, hey, I'm here okay at all. But we are making. Oh my, I don't want to give everybody the secret. Before another idiot will run to OAU, was it AU? And register with the with the person selling the charge card on the street and come and say that they have been recognized by AU. You know, you go to AU and say, you buy the charge card from the person on the, uh, on, uh, underneath the mango tree. You come out and you say, you are now a member of AU. <laughs> Mad people everywhere, they want to steal glory. That doesn't, everything will kill them. Now I want to show the whole world the American wonder they have been doing with you. I want to prove because after watching this tonight, I posed a quiz yesterday and I put up a picture I got from a video of four pictures of the former US President Barack Obama, who was of course an absolute failure. And I asked people who are intelligent, graduates, everybody, I asked them, tell me or show me which one is the real Barack Obama. And honestly speaking, I don't blame them. Ninety-eight percent of them got it wrong. And if I were to be one of them, had I not been privy to the information that I had before, I would have also failed it myself. Are you following? I showed it to them. Most of them failed it. Those that knew or must have seen the video before, they accept they, they, they got, it, got it right. That one of them. If you say it, if they, you swear that, it, that is, of course, this is Obama, that is what they have been doing to you with Jibril. You see now? Hey, the voice, they can mimic the voice, and I'm going to play. I'm not going to please pause that for the video. It's called deep fake. <laughs> you will see the video. You will see somebody else talking, and the mouth of Obama will be moving with Obama's. Um, accent and his um, uh, and his um, um, intonation. All of those people that I was telling my very educated friends that I told, oh, but he, his voice sounds like Buhari's voice. So I want to show you how they did it. <laughs> Anybody can do it. If I want to be, um, um, as I told you before, if I want to be a uh, Peter Dutch, I can be. I, you can see me in Peter Dutch's films. I will be here doing this broadcast and you will see me as Peter Doche in a Nollywood movie. It's all possible now. And that was what Abakiari was using to deceive all of you. 200 million people left deceived and confused. This is the type of treachery that an Iraq that graduated with nothing from university. Because Loretto Noche, the ex sex trafficker, will give you 33,000 every week. You come and you attack a nam the can, you talk rubbish. Have you seen how foolish you are? I might have played on very video, I'm gonna play it here as well. For them to see. For you to see what I've been doing with you. And I want you to listen to the voice of Barack Obama. Listen to his voice. Listen to the voice of Barack Obama this night and tell me if you would have recognized that it was fake. If not, I'm not telling you that it's fake. I want to play, in fact, I should play a trick on you. I should I play the voice and, and then ask you to tell me if that is Obama or not. But now I've told you that it's fake. I want people to understand what is going on around the world. That you need to keep abreast of information technology and artificial intelligence. These are the things people do not know. These are the things they don't teach you about. This is what Lai Mohammed has been doing. Oh, have you not seen the president? He's back yesterday. Ah, now you know the reason why. Now you know the reason why. They don't do live interviews. You know the reason why they cannot pull their faces anymore in public? <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> hey, zu, 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 zu alamni, with their deceit and falsehood. I told you, after tonight, the zoo, bye bye zoo. You just can't wait for, for, for them to call us for a meeting to tell us well, who, those who agreed to go with us and where the boundaries will be. That's, that's what I'm waiting for. What else is in the zoo? 
Let me see the government of the world that will support that nonsense. I want to see the government of the world, any government anywhere that will support what Aisha is doing. I want to see that government. They can hide all their life, uh, trying to do all their mago mago, their tricks always. Uh, it's, it's better to be together. Uh, uh, Buhari's government, not Buhari's government. Where is Buhari? I don't want to hear presidency. Where is Oshiba Anjo as the vice president? What is the meaning of presidency? What, what is that all about? Presidency. <laughs> I, I, I am going to play it for you, for the whole world to hear. I want to hear the voice of Obama, <laughs> the ex-US president. Listen very carefully, because the whole world is listening. Listen. Listen. Listen carefully, please. Look at these images. Uh -huh. now, tell me which Obama here is real. To help families refinance their homes, to invest in things like high-tech manufacturing, clean energy, and the infrastructure that creates good new jobs. Anyone? The answer is none of them. <laughs> Are you listening? That voice you heard is not the voice of Obama. But it sounds exactly like him. Are you listening? Are you following? So when I read the advice, oh, I heard the voice. The voice sounds like Buhari. Do you see how they do it? I might have published the video. Let them see it. Do you understand? We teach the zoo what they, do. they are ashamed now. <laughs> Nigerians are ashamed. You know they don't like, you know, especially coming from Biafrans. They will say, you people, you think you, you're special. You think you know everything. <laughs> but with all due respect, we do. <laughs> Very modestly, we, we do. We know everything. Do you not see it? That was the voice of an actor. Mimi King Obama. Not Obama's voice. It is called AI. Hologram artificial intelligence. That is that was why they ran to China for China to help them. And I told the Chinese, if you deploy your software, I will expose you. And they're afraid. They said now the kind of is a madman. And I said, I love it. I, I'm a miscreant. What do you expect from a miscreant? It is unadulterated madness. That's what we give you. Pure and direct, with laden with common sense, that if you forget your prejudice, if my Yoruba brothers can forget their prejudice and embrace the truth, I'm sure some of them would have loved if I were to be a Yoruba man, but that's how you can come and make me a Jafran. Because they don't like really promoting whoever is not their own. I understand that. Is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard mentality, I understand that. I also promote everything that is Biafran, so it's understandable. Some of them secretly wish that Nam the Khan is, is, is a Yoruba man. I'm sure they do. <laughs> but you have many like me there. Just encourage them. Encourage them! Encourage them and you'll be set free. I am going to play the whole clip for you or stress a part of it so you will understand. You will come to appreciate what we are doing. You will appreciate the depth of our persistence and the precision in terms of research. Precision. Because we have no guns, we have no bullets, we have no weapons. We are surgically dismantling the zoo. Surgical precision with the truth as our scalpel. You know that thing they use in the in the in the theater to cut open the stomach. Scalpel is called, isn't it? Yes. We are dissecting the zoo. When I said we'll collapse the zoo, they thought I was going to come with Air Force One, Air Force Two, uh, fighter jet, roadside bomb, improvised explosive devices, all that rubbish. No. God in heaven said the only weapon you need is truth. Go there and dissect the zoo without fear. And that's what we have done. And today the zoo is gone. We are waiting for COVID-19 to finish. And we are going home. Who is going to keep us in the zoo? 
Because if they start any war, the war will call them for a meeting and say, bring Buhari to us. Are they going to provide any Buhari license? No. So they can't even go to war. <laughs> hey! A libre. You say how it's done. Surgical precision. Surgical precision. The, now they are scanning in our and say, Oh, what are we going to do? If we had no, no, we shall listen to the bishop oh, and negotiate. All of you are in trouble. All of you in our oh, you are all in one almighty mess. In a very big mess, I tell you. All of them is my witness, you are in a big mess. Let me finish playing it that the world may bear witness that we, in our time, we spoke the truth. And indeed, the truth set us free. For Elohim said, For ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set thee free. Do they we know the truth? And the truth is what set them their hands free. No bullet, no guns, only the truth. The force of it. I want you to listen very carefully, please. Listen. None of this is actually real. So let me tell you how we got here. <laughs> My inspiration for this work was a project meant to preserve our last chance for learning about Holocaust from the survivors. Exactly. It's called New Dimensions in Testimony, and it allows you to have interactive conversations with a hologram of a real Holocaust survivor. A hologram! A hologram! A hologram! A hologram, not a human being! I want you to see this very clip that is being posted on my page. You will see a hologram. If you're looking at it, you will think it's human. You think it's a person. Nobody is there. It's fake. Hologram. That's what they're using to tell you. Oh, didn't you see him in the video? Oh, but I spoke in the video now. Didn't you see him? But bring him out. He's the president. They cannot bring him out. Because now we are prepared. Any day he shows his face anywhere, we pick up this. Oh, um, let, me, let me give you the secret. Any day they present anybody to say this is Buhari, as the as the idiot is coming out, and as soon as any picture is released, we take a 3D of the face. We begin to run it against the database of all the known faces of the old and genuine Buhari, and it will clock it to be false. Because in this very clip as well, I'm asking all Nigerian journalists, go there and you register. And it's a simple assignment. Go and you register on that. It's free for journalists. Go and register. Submit every video of Buhari from 2017 till now. It will all come back as false. As being forge a forgery. Fake. Go and try it. That is when you will come and you 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 will bring your, your machete, your guns and your bullets, your, your training on, on IPOB in the east. You will go to Abuja and finish it on those of them who are in Nasarok. They've been lying to you. They have been deceiving you. A hologram, a hologram, not a human being. But I'm telling you, if you see it, you will swear it's a human being. I'm going to break it down. Of a real Holocaust survivor. Yes. How did you survive the Holocaust? How did I survive? I survived, well, I believe, because Providence watched over me. Can you believe that the man saying this thing is not there? You can see him in the video, his mouth is moving, but he is not there. Hologram. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Are you listening? I am asking Lai Muhammad, are you of course he is listening, they all listen. Are you listening? Do you see how we got the zoo? <laughs> Do you see how the zoo ended? And they gave them Biafra. That is how our children's children will read about it in school. A truth that was spoken June 2017. That truth matured in three years. And is the basis for the collapse of the zoo. Nothing else. I know that there are writers who change it. Oh, is this is 
We are telling you from that innocuous announcement I made in June in my father's compound in my home. When I said that thing is not Buhari, that is what is bringing Nigeria to an end in 2020. It is over. <laughs> it is over. Hey! It is over for them. They are going crazy. <laughs> they are going crazy. We recorded in a studio. Yet, the effect is astounding. You feel so connected to his story and... It was recorded in a studio and the effects was astounding. Fake, but the man is not there. Fake, that's what they've been doing to you. <laughs> Zoo is gone. Completely gone. Done and dusted. <laughs> It's gone. And to him as a person. Let's continue. I think there's something special about human interaction that makes it much more profound and personal um, than what books or lectures or movies could ever teach us. So I saw this and began to wonder, mm -hmm. can we create a model like this for anyone? A model that looks, talks, and acts just like them. Are you listening? Can we create somebody? Let me see a pick a name here. There is um, somebody called Eve Lewis, or is it Lois? I don't know. Omen Majidofo. I can copy Omen Majidofo and put him somewhere. And I'll be talking to him. In my living room, I'll be talking to him. I'll be, you'll be seeing him in his hologram. That's what I'm saying. Anybody anywhere in the world can be reproduced. That is what they are doing to 200 million people. That is how they have wrecked your brain because they know you are dumb. They know you are stupid. They know you are a zoo animal. They know you are never tenacious. They know you don't have any longevity. They know once you pursue a particular line of thought that you will not last long. That was why they managed to deceive you for three years. They have been lying to you. They have been stealing all the money. All of it, including their batch of loot, everything before your eyes. If you talk too much, they bring recorded um, um, clip and play it for you on NTA and say it is live. And I don't even know why people have not sued channels, television, and NTA. They should be taken to court for peddling falsehood. That is how you get the world to know that the, the zoo is in a deep mess, isn't it? I don't know why they've not been taken to court. I don't know why. I don't know why. They are crying now. They are crying every day. Hey, they have finished also because you play a bunch of liars and deceivers. A bunch of cowards. Cowards to the core. All you do is you gossip with your 3K from Loretta Nochi. That's all you do. You never face facts. Ask yourselves this question. Where is your Shiba Joe? You, you can't find him. Bring out Buhari if he's there. You can't find him. That is why Asorok is empty. And that is why Biafra has come. I'm just waiting for coronavirus to finish. Who is going to defend them? They will squirm. They will hide. And the more they hide, the more difficult it is going to be for them. Now is the only opportunity they have either to board the nearest private jet and run away or to say, take your trouble, take your wahala and go. You, you be Biafra, go, just go. Because I know that the Yorubas will defend the, the Fulanis of his natural, it's, it's always been that way. So they'll defend them. So they can be in one Nigeria together. Allow us to go. We are going. Anyway, I'll make a very important announcement later on. Let us listen to this. It's very, very critical that we look at the people. So I set out to see if this could be done, uh -huh. and eventually came up with a new solution that can build a model of a person using nothing but these existing photos and videos of a person. All we need to do is to use existing videos of somebody. Just existing videos, that's all. And we, we model you. you know, we, we, we put on your favorite clothing, anything you want. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's only, it's only coronavirus that is stopping us. Because I am going to place Buhari in every country of the world at the same time. So that the zoo guy... By the time we finish with the zoo, eh? If you say a Nigerian, in any airport around the world, they'll deport you. 
In fact, they are not deport you. If you don't want to be deported from airport, go. Aisha now. Aisha is the one who is governing Nigeria now. She's the one who is ruling Nigeria now. Go Aisha now and tell Aisha. If you know what those man who need, give, let them go. <laughs> because the image of hey, what what I'll do to Nigeria after after coronavirus? Oh, she never can my brother. What I will do to the image of Nigeria after coronavirus? Hey, any ear that hears it will be buzzing for life. We will put them inside the gutter where they belong. Where they belong? They are playing with us. They don't know who we are. But go take your time and watch the video. And then next time, you if you see an IPOB family member around you, you go on your knees and you thank them. Jealousy will not save you. <laughs> Petty village travel jealousy cannot save you. You can be as jealous as you like from now to the kingdom come. It will not save you. The zoo is gone. The zoo is gone. They should have listened to Prophet Ingila from time. Never, that a time will come when you want to negotiate and they will say no. Go now and negotiate. Dialogue now. Dialogue now. They said no. He done that. Uh, uh, what? You see what? Me I would. Tell them. Maybe they should take me a word as well. Hey, don't worry. They will handle them. <laughs> Look at the people you are calling misfriends. They know something you don't know. And can never know. Not for a million years you can never know this. But I should tell you that Elohim asked us to come for a purpose. It's called deep fake. Fake Obama, talking with fake Obama voice, accent, and mannerisms. This is how they have been fooling you all these years. There's another one as well. Uh, uh, Michael, please post it. You can be in a, in a movie. Place your face on any actor or actress. I don't know what they call them these days. Yeah, you can be in a, in a movie. Maybe that's, uh, uh, that's what we should be doing now. All these um, front stars in Asorok. Maybe they'll put Buhari's face on, on the face of, um, of Arnold Schwarzenegger and say, can't you see? Now Buhari has muscles. He has now grown some muscle tissue. Can, can't you see? That's how easy it is to deceive. And what is paining some people is, uh, why must this revelation be coming from a beer frank? Oh, why didn't we think of this thing first? They know how to promote their own, but not others. Very parochial. All of them are hypocrites. It is there. All you need is a selfie. Just take a simple selfie of your face and you put it in the computer and it starts to do the magic. Any expression you want, it will give you. And you know where this technology came from? Do you know where this technology came from? From China. That was why they, you know, they import everything. They say, oh, please, stop, come, come, come. We have 200 million idiots. You can sit down with this. Not forgetting that there is that, uh, uh, those mad people called IPOB. They forgot. The thing about IPOB is that we are super intelligent. Super, super intelligent. I'm telling you. Super intelligent. Not, we don't miss anything. Nothing. We are very detailed and very thorough in our approach. Please play it. There's even another video of Kim Jong Un of um <laughs> of um uh, North Korea walking about in New York. Play that video as well. Give them the evidence. I want Lai Mohammed to know that he's no match for us. I want to tell every journalist in this zoo that claims that I'm investigated, you are no match for IPOB. You are not a match. When we decide to do something, we do it. We said we'll crush the zoo. And the zoo is gone today. Finished. Finito, as they would say. Is it Latin? There's also another picture of a newscaster. A newscaster pretending to be to be Forbes. Isn't it? You know the Saturday Night Live star Kate McKinnon? Impersonating Elizabeth Warren. Live before the whole world, the, the same dress, the same clothing, everything. The, the Elizabeth Warren called the studios of um, Saturday Night Live. God, and she saw herself. Is that as, as you are? Let, let's say you are screen somebody on Skype or Zoom or whatever or WebEx, 
and the person you're speaking to has your face we are in your 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 skin test everything including your, your your clothes what would you feel i'm sure some of you will run to your pastor and say holy ghost fire pray for us and the pastor will say if i pray for you this demon that is chasing you now go and pay your tithe even if that's coronavirus you can pay your tithe pastor will take it and put it in his pocket and tell it to come on go, go and take a uh, panadol and sleep it is called deep fake that's what they have been using. That is what Aisha is preparing to use to deceive all of you until 2023. Not knowing that Namdekanu is there. Give me Biafra and I will leave you alone. Biafra and I will leave you alone. And as long as you are holding on to Biafra, forget all the nonsense they are promising you. Oh, you can call your rubbish. As soon as coronavirus is over, I will pull a stunt I will pull all over the world that every Nigerian will be deported. I'm telling the truth. All of you with Nigerian passports, you will be deported from... The world will condemn you that you people are not fit to be called human beings. If you want to avoid that outcome, tell Aisha Bukhari she knows what to do. Just uh, the boundaries, that's all. Because I don't want to impose anything on anybody. The boundaries is all I'm asking for. And then we are gone. Let them use their hand to agree. And then we are gone. <laughs> 2020. No wonder they said vision 2020. I didn't know they had Biafra in mind. If they refuse to give us Biafra, Somalia will be a better place than the zoo. What is happening today? <laughs> Somalia is way better, isn't it? The zoo has been reduced to a people being presided over by an illegitimate first lady. The only thing that gives Aisha Buhari power is that her husband is the president. The day that Buhari was buried was the day she ceased to be the first lady. That was the day she ceased to be a first lady. But she's continues to stay there, which is a fraud. Fraud. Fraud of the highest order. If Chukwaki government did not send us, why would we why would we have all this knowledge to start with? Why didn't he give it? Why didn't he him give it to other people to, to do this thing we are doing now? Because we are chosen. <laughs> Jealousy and envy cannot save you. <laughs> Can I tell the trash in the world? Does he move us? Is has he ever stopped us before? Is he going to stop us in the field? The answer is no. <laughs> so he's gone. Gone bye bye zoo. Zoo is gone. I fuck on virus. If they don't do what I'm asking them to do, <laughs> every Nigerian prepare for deportation because I'll disgrace all of you, wherever you are. I will disgrace you. You went to university, PhD, masters, bachelors, all this nonsense, all rubbish. Your brains are empty. You have seen it now. That thing that Miss Grants uh, that didn't go to school uh, uh, saw, you with PhD cannot see it. This is how foolish your PhD is. Can you see how foolish you are? A Nigerian. Can you see your stupidity staring you in the face? Do you see how a bunch of John Jaweed and Amanjiri have been deceiving you since 2017? Deceiving you since 2017. Have you seen it? People never seen that man. They move cattle. Do you see how they've been deceiving you? Ordinary software. Ordinary computer program. And you claim you're intelligent. Tomorrow you'll be writing rubbish on Facebook. Uh, speaking grammar you don't know. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? <laughs> Somebody's begging me. Oh. His name is uh, Gift Dollars. Oh, uh, uh, God, please, oh, uh, uh, don't let them deport me. Then you tell Aisha Buhari, tell the girl I Muhammad, tell them to hurry up. I mean, I'm in a hurry now. I'm the one who is in a hurry. I want Biafra. I'm in a hurry. I am in a hurry. I want to go. Take your zoo. Take your, your zoo. Your zoo. Take it and, 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 and get away from my face. I want to go home and be a free man. Be friends will be free. Or else, hey, my brother. Or else, after this coronavirus, eh, I will display all the, all the whole world, every major country. 
I will show them how foolish a Nigerian is. Even the ones in their own country. So they will know. All of you will be deported. You know, when I was saying this before, I will break the zoo. Some of you are laughing. You can't do it now. You are boasting shy. You know that stupid rubbish. You are, you are joking shy. Has it happened? Is the zoo not broken? Has it not happened? I'm asking you. Before your eyes. You will be deported from wherever you are. By the time I finish, you will see racism against you wherever you are. The world will speak. They will say you are an idiot. You are not fit to be a human being. Tell Aisha. She is now the president. Call Aisha and tell her. Please, this is a madman. Give him what he wants. Let him go. That's what I'm asking you for. So that the world may know. That those who choose to be slaves to Fulani, they can go and be slaves to them. They can be dancing all one with 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 Fulani. That's their business. I want to be a free man. I want to be a free man. You can be a slave if you want to be a slave. <laughs> Not in Nam, they can. Heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. The zoo is being presided over by an illegitimate. An illegal first lady, Ill illegitimate, illegal. And uh, 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 some of you are saying uh, you are you are in, I am a Nigerian. I'm a, I'm a proud Nigerian. <laughs> we are not sending anybody on exile in Biafra land, please. Uh, all those people, we 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 forgive them <laughs> because they're ignorant. They don't know. <laughs> they are foolish. Elohim said we must go and set the people free. That's what we're doing. If you if you block our way, we will pulverize. We'll not, because if we cross you, there will be something left. It's called pulverization. You will not be seen again. You can see dust, but you will not be seen. You pulverize. If you're playing with us. You don't know IPOB. You don't know our might, don't you? You don't know how strong we are. Yeah. The zoo is finding out how formidable we are. Unbreakable. Unbreakable. This family was ordained by God in heaven. He's unbreakable. He's a monster. I believe he's a monster. You, uh, you're not witnessing it. <laughs> they are uh, collecting their own share, sharing money in that rock. Even my Muhammad wants to steal his own money as well. Everybody is on the run. Everywhere is hot. Aisha is dishing out money now in foreign currency, in euros, in dollars. They are spending it, dishing it out. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lie Muhammad wants NTA <laughs> to compete with CNN and wants 500 million. <laughs> Dollar loan, the ocean. <laughs> they know the zoo has sunk. Everybody's preparing. Private jet everywhere now. The only thing keeping Nigeria together is cowardice. People who are afraid to do that which is right. Cowards are keeping the zoo together. They hide under their cheap Chinese phone with data bought with blood money in Abuja. They are the cowards. Legendary zoological republic. I love honey, you know. Useless people. We told them we would destroy them. They thought it was a joke. Hey, you, you threw them at my toe. Has it not happened, man? <laughs> Let COVID-19 finish. I will display a masculine that when you watch it, Instead of you to shed tears, you will shed blood from your eye. Your eye socket will shed blood. The masculine, when you see it, blood will come out of your eyes and not tears. That you may know that heaven sent me. That's what I do. And how do you know that they're failing? How can you tell? Because even they are so-called elders now, they know. The people that gave you Buhari, <laughs> the dictator, they are now running. They are now hiding. It's, they are called the Northern Elders Forum. Their failures are now before them. They have seen their shame. Fulani have seen their shame. 
They have seen it. And now they are seeking to retrace their way, but it's too late. You can no longer retrace your steps. These are the people that can campaign for a brutal, intellectually challenged dictator to be rigged into power. These are the people. Show me some Nugo Yibong. Our grandmas are And I'm not speaking too much grammar. That's not it for it. Because <laughs> it ends up confusing Africans even more. <laughs> There's no need for too much grammar. No need for it. No need for it. It's very, it's, it's very simple. <laughs> very, very neat and simple. Very neat and simple. It's over for them. I want to show you, share with you what they are saying in the north. <laughs> what they are saying. We have destroyed them completely and totally. Complete and utter destruction. Can destroy them. I'm going to play this man for you. You won't believe it, huh? From the from the Northern Elders Forum. Listen very carefully. To tell you the issue is gone. For full and people to be talking like this, <laughs> it's game over. <laughs> it's over. And the history will say it was done by IPOB. Because I won't be alive. As some people will say, okay, I guess you know, you know, we cannot be alive. After we must have died and suffered for for the zoo to break, you will now come and claim credit from somewhere. You are a mad person. It can never happen, no? Never, ever, ever. Listen. Forum regrets. Listen. That by any standard of judgment, the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari has failed the nation <laughs> in the Fine. area of improving its security. <laughs> Poverty, particularly uh -huh. in the north, uh -huh. and massive social social security problems uh -huh. have worsened under this administration. Uh -huh. Northern Elders Forum has refrained from comments on Northern Elders Forum relating to management of national security and governance uh -huh. because it is convinced that these times these are times which require the highest levels of responsibility uh -huh. and circumspection in the manner elders and leaders of the nation contribute to the search for solutions to the multiple problems which face the nation. It has now become necessary and appropriate, however, to make public the position of the forum on important matters that affect the manner Nigerians live <coughs> and the future we must all address. Mm -hmm. On national security. Yes. The forum regrets mm -hmm. that by any standard of judgment, the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari has failed the nation. Are you listening? Northern Elders Forum. These are the idiots, the reprobates, that insisted that Buhari must ascend to the throne. These are full and janja weed. Full and janja weed. Can anybody believe that there will come a time when they open their mouth to be uttering such fine words? That time has come. And also history will record in the time of IPOB. <laughs> Unbelievable. Zoo has collapsed, gone for good. Let us please listen to the what the idiot has to say. It's over, isn't it? They are preparing to tell you that Buhari has resigned due to ill health. <laughs> Look at it, that they think that's smart, but we know. I have minutes of the meeting. I have minutes of the meeting they attended in Kaduna. I have minutes of the meeting. They want to pretend and tell you, oh, but Buhari, due to ill health and COVID-19, he's now resigned. That's why they're holding Osibajo hostage. To see who will emerge. <laughs> Are you following? <laughs> Are you following? They think they're smart, but we're smarter than them. Let's listen. Poverty, particularly in the north, and massive social social security problems have worsened under this administration. The relationship between insecurity and poverty is fantastic. Under whose administration? Under Buhari's administration? From Fulani? <laughs> These are the tears that want to... Uh, it's another 14 years. It would need to be a power. Look at the fools. Have you seen it? Have you now seen and heard it from the horse's mouth? Northern Elders Forum of Anka Abdullahi and um, the other glorified Alamajiri. Is it what's his name again? 
Yeah, you don't go your side. You see, they have now run away. The mind, irrepressible, irresistible force of IPOB. Irresistible. You stand with cross you. Ask our enemies. <laughs> now it's confession time. Confession time. The way he's confessing is how I shabu Harry will confess. Before she's sentenced or hanged for high crimes and misdemeanors. <laughs> That's happened, hasn't it? <laughs> Listen, we must, we must, the, uh, we must get it right. Useless people, useless, useless zoological republic. Useless to the core, to the core, to the core. They think, they think we are mates, that we are joking. <laughs> uh, 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 this, 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 your Biafra you are doing. This is your Biafra you are doing. <laughs> social, social security problems have worsened under this administration. Uh -huh. The relationship between insecurity and poverty is fundamental. Uh -huh. But the administration does not appear to have any idea on what will provide relief or solution. If we are we allowed to say this? No. It gives this forum uh -huh. no pleasure to say that it had warned Nigerians that President Buhari lacks the will the competence and the commitment to lead it into a secure and prosperous future. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? From the Northern Elders Forum, the Redentist Conservative Backward Alamajiri Talk Shop. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I was say it, you know? <laughs> They are preparing to ship out his name to say COVID-19, he was ill. But they're not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere. Aisha Buhari is going to prison. You see how they want to stop Aisha from going to jail? Aisha is going to prison. <laughs> you see it? Even Oshibajo, I wish him well, but Oshibajo for knowingly lying to the people. Shibajo is, is, he will be in trouble as well. I want it to be well, but he will be in trouble. Now they know they have failed all of a sudden. They have failed. And uh, you have the consequences of failure. Have you seen that clip of Alamajiri? Up to one mile of Alamajiri, no father, no mother. Baby fact, industrialized uh, 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 child production in the north. God knows where they come from. Those of you fighting for one Nigeria, have you seen the clip of Alamajiri? <laughs> Sitting there, please, Amaka, can you post it, please? If you're following, post the clip of Alamajiri. These are the voters. Six years old, they used to vote for them in Kanu. Have you forgotten? Somebody come and say, oh, the election was free and fair. It was credible. Six year old will vote in Kanu. They are the Alamajiri. Have you seen their clip? Is this the country you want to belong to? Those of you fighting for one Nigeria, is it, which Nigeria are you fighting for? Do you know where these kids come from? Some are from uh, from uh, from um, um, Niger. Some are from Chad. Others from Cameroon. Others from other parts of the Sahel, from Mali. You don't know who is who because there are no hard borders in the north. But they close your borders in the south. You that is the intellectual. <laughs> Abakiari close your own borders in the south. But their borders in the north are open. Any Alamajiri can come from anywhere in the Sahel and come in. And now they're moving them to the south. And all of you are there, you know, you are attacking IPOP and the number. You see how, anyway, of course, they are fake. Some of the accounts you see are not owned by people. It's just computer generated. They paid the money in, in Russia and in Israel to generate fake accounts. Right on much here and the Femi Adeshino. And Gary Bashev, in fact, I actually negotiated the deal. So some of these idiots you're seeing here answering stupid names, they're not human beings. They are computer generated names. If the Northern Elders Forum have rejected the administration being run under the name of Buhari, why would a Yoruba person support it? Ask yourself that question. So some of the things you're seeing, they're all fake accounts. It's fake. It's, it's just like the, the AI we're talking about. It's just like that thing in Asadok claiming he's Buhari. They're all fake. There's nobody there. They are all computer generated. That is what Loretta Onoche is doing. That's her job. 
It was an American man who was, I don't know if he caught the uh, uh, coronavirus as well. A man called Mr. Green, married to an Ibogu man. He is an American man who is running their, uh, their uh, counter um, um, social media team. It's all fake, fake accounts. If I'm asking anybody supporting the administration of uh, Aisha, I'm asking you, because now Aisha is the, is the ruler of Nigeria. If the Northern Elders Forum can reject, can reject the administration, how about you? <laughs> These are the people that killed, blackmailed everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the zoo is buffeted and to an extent, Biafans as well, on both sides. Now is again is vaccine. And as I told you before, all the Chinese um, uh, scientists are experimenting with you in Kanu. And all the Nigerian doctors are in, in TV studios, as I told you before. As I told you before. And none of you actually knows that World Health, Bill Gates World Health Organization, I call it Bill Gates because he is the one that funds them. Do you know that World Health Organization is in the zoo called Nigeria? They were the ones that persuaded these criminals who are on the run now to agree that Nigeria will participate in the vaccine. Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? And Nigerian doctors are saying no, but they will not listen. And I'm saying no vaccine. If you bring that rubbish to Biafra land, we'll take it and we'll inject you with it. We don't want any vaccine in Biafra land. We do not want any. We don't want... Go and test it in Oibo countries. Go to Europe. Go to America. Go to China. Be before we start any vaccination, let the Chinese vaccinate first. And I'm telling BBC Igbo, because BBC Igbo, they have come to kill us. They are the they are propaganda <laughs> arm to get into us. BBC Igbo, <laughs> uh, go and tell your masters that we are not ready for any vaccine. We don't want it. We don't want it. Not at all. We don't want any vaccine in Biafra land. The video is there for the vaccine. And if you want, you can watch it on my page. What gives me greater concern is the advancement of the Janja Wood food, food soldiers. They have come. They call it the Alamajiri dispersal policy. What they have done is to send their army. I knew that Erufai would do this. Erufai was the man that armed foreign terrorists, the headsmen, to strike in southern Kaduna. And he actually paid them money. He came out and he said, I paid them to stop killing Nigerians. And I know that El Rufai wanted to inherit the mantle of Buhari as the hitman of the North. That's what he wants to do. Uh, but he has failed. And today we are telling El Rufai, I am today instructing all the governors in Biafra land, send all those Alamajiri back to Kaduna. It was El Rufai that organized the dispersal program of Alamajiri. These are sleeper cells they are coming. And they are coming to kill. They are coming to take over our land. They want to cause mayhem and trouble. What they want to do is this. They know that uh, there is no Buhari, there is no Sibajo right now. So what they want to do is to start chaos so that the world will be focused on the problem, on the breakdown of law and order in Nigeria. Rather than asking questions as to why they have been lying to the world about Buhari being alive when all the period has been dead in Saudi Arabia. That's what I want to do. Is another diversionary tactics. Is another attempt to deflect the world's attention away from what is happening in Asorok. So they send them down. The arms they are going to use is already in Biafra land. They have it everywhere. And their backup is the Nigerian army. Those in Obinze, those in Ahafia, those in Asa, those in Iwocha. All the army formations you have in Biafra land are there to support their own people when the time comes. And the time has come. And their field marshal is Governor El Rufai of Kaduna State. He is the one leading the charge. He is the, he is the fundamentalist, the Islamic fundamentalist that wants to see Quran dipped in the Atlantic Ocean. This is their best time. They will not have another time to do it. Now is the opportunity to do it. And we are checkmating them. Because they have gone and they have said how they plan to take over Nigeria. They have said it. They have a plan, a well marshaled plan. They will arrest some of them. We arrested. Who are the people behind this? El Rufai and Go. 
It was Abakiali before leading it. Buhari was there leading it. He died. Abakiali took over. He's dead. Now, the Janja weed field marshal is a Rufai. That midget. He wants to dip the Quran in the Atlantic Ocean. He is a very brutal fellow. Very cold, callous, and calculating. Let me tell you what the world knows about the movement of the Janjaweed and the Majiri to the south. That your governors pretend they don't know, but they know. At the end of 17, Sahid Aminu and his younger brother Mustafa Aminu, who was 15, were forced by their father to abandon school in 2015 and join a terrorist group known as Jamatu Ansarul Muslimina Phil Bilal di Sudan. From Sudan. They have come to our land. <laughs> they are the nine, among the nine suspected terrorists that were recently arrested by detectives attached to the office of the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team. The group popularly known as Ansarul is said to be responsible for the recent kidnapping of two expatriates working with Tricata, Tricata Limited and were also alleged to have participated in the abduction of Magajin Garin of Daura in Kasena State. Their ultimate goal, however, is to take over Nigeria. Are my Yoruba friends listening? Do you think you're safe? Do you think if you support Fulani in their misdeeds, in their evil acts, that somehow you're safe? These foot soldiers are coming from across the whole of Sahel. From everywhere, they are coming to kill. They have said, they confessed, we have come. When I was, one of them confessed, when I was converted, they told us that we are fighting against the Nigerian government. Are you listening? <laughs> when he was converted, fighting against good luck, Jonathan. Are you listening? <laughs> In 2015. This man, unbelievable. Uh, they all, let me give you their names. Shuaibu Ahmadu, Amini Shuaibu, Isha Khalid, Yusuf Abubakar, Awal Umar, Abubakar Isa Muhammad, and Abubakar Mustafa, all of whom confess to be active members of this terrorist group drafted in to come and take over Nigeria. They are in the custody of the Inspector General of Police. So you can't say IPB made it up. This is why when Yorubas are conniving with the Fulanese, they must be aware of this. This is what they are conniving. Anytime you say, oh, one Nigeria, like, anytime you see an Omanjiri, I both you tell you about one Nigeria. This is what they are planning for. They want to take you over. They won't take you over. Have you seen it? Ask the Inspector General of Police and he will tell you. Don't ask me. Ask your Inspector General of Police. They will tell you about the group of terrorists under the direct supervision of El Rufai. Overseen by the Nigerian Army. I remember when we raised the alarm that Nigerian Army coat of arms, sorry, insignia, as you say, Contains Arabic words. One idiot that claims is educated, sir. It doesn't matter. And then, uh, the army is from the north. Can you believe such rubbish? In a secular country, a country that wasn't colonized by the Arabs, the army insignia is in Arabic. In Arabic. And you're talking about one Nigeria. And you have people who are Christians serving under this banner. And I will tell you what it says. That, no, that thing they scribbled under the star in the banner in the insignia of Nigerian Army. Let me tell you first of all what, what it means. It means that the loyalty of the Nigerian Army and their allegiance lies with Islam and Saudi Arabia. That's what it means. And they are there to provide support for the Janjaweed army. The Nigerian army uh, uh, barracks in Onesha. The one in Obinze. The one in Asaba. Everywhere. They want to build a new one in Abu. They are bringing this army in. This army is providing support for their foot soldiers. They have killed so many people that it is no longer news. The killing of people is no longer news. Are you not aware of it? 
Are you pretending that you don't know? Are you pretending you don't know? Unbelievable. The motto on the Nigerian insignia, Nigerian insignia says, and I read in English, victory from Allah. Victory from Allah. Everybody have what they call the Almighty. It's not God, but you have Christians serving in the army. And I'm asking every Christian in the Nigerian army to prepare for the resignation. They must leave that army because they too will be killed when the time as i'm saying it now it doesn't sound great hey this bad man you see what he's saying then when it happens i will come back on air and i will say to the world do you remember when i told you that they'll kill them and the world will remember and they will say yes that they had it and that now it's happened every christian must leave the nigerian army go back to your towns and your villages to defend it against the people that we are brought in to be supported by this same army to conquer our towns and our villages the zoo is gone they want to take it by force they want to take it by force Buratai is in hiding isn't he as i told you he would be uh, photoshopping everywhere. Full army people are on the final attack. They have subdued the middle belt. They have used their age old alliance to convince the Yoruba that they mean well for them. Unfortunately, the Yoruba have fallen for this very trick. Very shameful and very pathetic. All the people you are seeing they are telling you that they are Lemaji, they are coming down to the south. <laughs> oh dear me they are coming to take up their positions and they are, the nearest military barracks to you will provide them with arms and ammunition and the logistics to attack us they have come on a suicide mission most of them know that they will not go back but as long as the cause of Allah and Islam is served so be it so if we fail to do something now if the governors fail to do something now, if those that claim the love of people fail to do something now, we'll be fighting a real good action. That is something that the world must understand. The world must know this. The full army that we saw, there were almost there were over a million of them heading down to the zoo, where they are being received by full army soldiers. Uh, Buratai, before he went missing, was part of the plan. Abakiari was the one who was in charge. But now El Rufai is the one taking over. That is why they are brazenly shipping Al Majri to all sections of the zoo. Everywhere will get it. And they will attack simultaneously. And when the world will tell, say, oh, come for peace negotiation and peace treaty, they will say, oh, but they are there now. After all, there are egos in, in Sabongeri in Kanu, so they can stay where they are. And that will be the end of us. And as I warned you, those who are living in the north, you people are putting our existence in jeopardy. I'm telling you. You people are risking, you people are putting our existence as a race in jeopardy. I must warn you. I must warn you. I must warn you. And as they are moving down, what is the response of the various border police in Ogolafo, in a border town? The Janjaweed police are busy collecting bribe and allowing these buses to come through, allowing the trailers to come through, allowing all the Congo carrying people to come through. Very sad indeed. Very, very sad. And the governors are not doing anything. The governors are not doing anything. It seems to me that the governors we have in our land with the exception of we, perhaps they are all in cahoots with these people to invade us and to kill us, all of us. That's what is happening. That is why they're not doing anything. That is why the governors are not doing anything. The Janjaweed are coming in. The army and the police, staffed by the full armies, are letting them through. But there is a lockdown. There is a curfew. There is a movement restriction. But unfortunately, how come these luxurious buses, how come these trailers, how come these 911, how come they're constantly coming in? 
because our governors are only interested in how much they can get for themselves and their families and when it starts happening they run away that's what i'm trying to do they don't love you they pretend they love you but they don't they don't that is the truth Un un unless they change tonight or tomorrow morning the Fulani are taking advantage of the lockdown to distribute their jihadi hitmen all over Biafra land. Unknown to some of you, that is what Wike is battling. That is why Wike is saying you must lock down. Don't have anybody in your hotels. Lock down. Because Wike is aware of this intelligence. But I don't know why he's not sharing with the other governors from the Southeast. I don't know why. That is why he appears to be very harsh. People don't understand. He's aware that an invasion is taking place. Wicca is aware of the invasion. That is why he's doing what he's doing. But unfortunately, uh, the rest of the governors in the Southeast, uh, they are just there. What are you doing to defend us? Nothing. Are you going to help to defend us? Nothing. They can't do anything. They want us to be taken. They want our land to be taken over. Very, very sad indeed. Extremely sad. And what is going to happen to us is exactly what happened in Delta. Remember Delta? They said, <laughs> we are near, some of them, not all of them, of course. We are, near, we, are not, we are part of Nigeria. Let me tell you the gift that Nigeria has given to them. Fulani terrorist hate men have killed people. Ilopanam. They have a camp. And if I'm go and ask Okowa, who is the governor of Delta State, to tell you the truth about what is happening, the sophisticated rifles and weapons we have found with these Fulani people, which the governor himself asked to be brought to the government house. And they came to the village and they killed two people. One of them is the only child. One of them is the only child. On Wednesday night, these people they kidnap our daughters and our mothers and go and rape them all. They come to the villages in the night. Because the nearest army barracks is supporting them. You see all those army barracks, huh? In a back in and the Chinese they are there to support Fulani headsmen. Not there to protect you. Amas is the army is meant to defend the country in a time of war. Is Nigeria at any war? Is there any war going on? Why do you have a disproportionate amount of military barracks in the South? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question. Why do you have a disproportionate amount of military establishments in the South? What are they doing for you? Is anyone invading Nigeria from the sea? Is anyone invading them from anywhere? Why do you have military banks? They need to instill fear. They need to control you. They need to kill you. They need to support their fellow terrorists to kill you. Now you know it. If you are a southerner and you are serving a Nigerian army, all you are doing is to help the Janjawi, the Fulani, to conquer your people. That's all you are doing. I know some of you start calling me and saying that we cannot feed. Stay in the Nigerian army and keep feeding the Nigerian army. You are fighting within or you are serving in an army whose ultimate goal is to enslave you. That's what you're doing. And that's why you realize it the better. They came to Abanam. They kidnapped a woman. They raped the woman. Then the committee gathered their vigilante to go into the forest. And the person was at the, the man that the, was given for him uh, is a, a Mecca. One of his members was killed on the spot. You want to ask for your mother that was kidnapped. That's how they give diseases to our mothers in the village. They kidnap our mothers, they rape them, they kidnap our mothers, they, they, they in front of their life. Even the newspapers never ever reported. But you have governors, they are doing nothing. 2023, another bunch set of idiots will come out and tell you, please vote for us. But thankfully, by then we are gone because the zoo is crumbling this year. Must crumble this year. It must crumble this very, very year. They are there killing people. 
They killed two vigilantes, two of them, for no reason. Give us our daughter that you kidnapped and raped. Okay, give you give her to us. You have raped her. Give her to us. They said no. They killed two of them. Fulani, are you telling me that you people can go to the north and do such a thing? They will, they will destroy everything. But that is how they have they have frightened and they have cowed you into a situation where you can no longer speak. They come, they come to your house. They th as I told you in 2012, they will take your daughters, they will take your mothers. Nobody will do anything about it. Is it not happening now? Everything I tell you comes to pass. Absolutely everything. And the governor Kowa is aware of what is happening. Will they do something about it? I very much doubt. Absolutely nothing. Okawa is a witness to what is happening. To the sophisticated weapons these Fulani terrorists are carrying. They come into our land. They pretend. And El Rufai is the one in the north. Remoting everything. He is the one who is piloting all these affairs and is very, very sad indeed. As we are confronting this very danger, some criminals are busy, always conniving and lying and deceiving themselves and not us. The, the, the most painful part is that the fledgling Udu the movement led by Professor Kintoye has fallen victim to this very fraud as well. In Yoruba media that have for so long been looking for a way to whittle down the power of IPOB are now promoting a piece of news that is worthless, that is junk, more or less. And I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. UNPO, that Professor Kinto registered, and, uh, and uh, Wazika said he has registered as well, is <laughs> nothing. I repeat, it is nothing. It's an ordinary NGO. It's like um, IP, IPOB organizing a few uh, independent movements um, around Africa to say, come, let's go and uh, to ECOSOG uh, and uh, start representing your interest. And for that privilege, you pay us $2,000 every year. Or is it every month? I don't know. That is every month, every year. I don't know. That's all. UNPO has nothing to do with UN. But it was wicked things that he can keep lying. I mean, he, he thinks that now is the previous era. Because we no longer talk about him. He thinks he can come out to lie and to deceive. Now Biafra is at hand. He wants to start lying. That perhaps uh, him joining UNPO somehow helped in the coming of Biafra. Unbelievable. What they have, these people have so, 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 so funny. So funny. UNPO is just a mere agency and NGO that goes about collecting money from people agitating for freedom so they can pass your letters and your correspondence not to UNO, but to ECOSOG. ECOSOG is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Do you know why it's nothing? <laughs> uh, because uh, World Book Congress is there. Um, in Maryland, they're also there. You are paying somebody money to take your letter to a place, and in that meeting that your letter is going to, World Book Congress is there. Uzuko Umwani is there. Umwadha in Maryland is there. <laughs> and you come back and you tell a Nigerian journalist, it's UNPO in the egg. It's UNPO. And the journalist did not even go online to type in UNPO, what they represent. He just published it. That to do the way is close. Biafra is close. According to Wazulike. Because of UMP your membership. <laughs> hey, very warrior. I don't blame Professor Kinte because he may have been duped or scammed. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this is how Wazulike survived. And some people who are learned that claim they went to school. Well, instead of them to use that their phone, they take selfie with. Go to your Google and you Google UNPO. It is an ordinary NGO, non-governmental organization, has nothing to do with UN. Nothing. The meeting that they are going to take your letter. Why didn't you ask go to a World Book Congress and say, please take this letter to Ecosoc for me or to Omoada? Who are they in Maryland? Who are they in Maryland?
But he gave two thousand dollars to a, a white man in Hague. <laughs> Only if they know how far we have gone. I don't know why it was because we spent time deceiving people. I don't know, even the journalists that publish this junk, I don't know where I don't, simple research you can't do. <laughs> Rather than lying and giving $2,000 a month to an agency to take your name to Echo, so just give that money, half of it to World Book Congress or to Omoada to be better used. They'll take some letters for you to the same meeting. Because when UMPO comes, they will meet one other in the meeting. And they will meet WIC in the meeting. <laughs> it's nothing. That's why we didn't understand. Because it is nothing. We have gone beyond all this rubbish. Beyond. That is why be afraid is this all over the world. Not a stunt. St this same stunt you were playing before when you started. Printing of passport, uh, plate number, all this nonsense. You're still doing it now. And you're not afraid. In the era of IPOB, all these village games, you're still playing it. As old as you are, was Vicky, you're still playing village games. Village game, village. That's what you're doing. You think if you bring that useless letter and publish it and deceive people, that will keep quiet? You think Biafra can take lies and fraudulent behavior? Is that what you think? A project is ordained by God in heaven himself. You, this is your lies. You have not realized anything. That lying can never save you. Oh dear. And some people bought into the rubbish. And some published, Biafra will emerge as a sovereign nation with UNPO admission. Are you mad? I'm telling you that the World Report Congress, the meeting you are paying 2004 for someone to take your letter there, World Report Congress is there already. Hey! And they have not brought the Afro, have they? Do you see how you deceive people? You are like Lai Muhammad. You think the Afro will be like another Nigerian? We are the president who die and they're hiding it, lying every day. Calling um, uh, uh, hungry, hungry, hungry journalists with the buckle missing on their sender slippers. Pay them 2850 to publish junk and they publish. And you have the temerity and the presence to come out and be mountain rubbish by UNPO. Oh dear me. I don't blame Professor Kinto for getting his hopes high on mere decision with an agency to attend meetings with other NGOs. I blame those that may have led him astray. He's a very intelligent man and I like him. And I will support the effort they are making at getting him to do well. But UNPO is nothing. It is absolutely it's this garbage nothing. Doesn't do anything. We go to UN. They accept. Did you see us when we went to Geneva? To UN? If you don't want to ask him, did you host Nam the Khan or not? Write to you and I ask them. There's nothing to lie. You're writing, you're paying somebody $2,000 a month to take a letter to an organization that can't even attend meetings that IPOB are attending. Hey. All because you want to sound relevant, that you're doing something. So as, as we are collapsing the zoo, as super government is collapsing the zoo this year, you claim credit or uh, part of it. Oh, can't you remember? We, we joined the UMPO, you know? That's why this is happening. See how you lie. You're a as old as you are, you're still lying like a little baby. Unbelievable. Evil associations with ECOSOG consultative status. UNPO has the same status with World Evil Congress because the same status, it is nothing. Nothing. A waste of money and effort. A waste of money and, and effort. All oh, these journalists with their uh, Sanders slippers. So, you know that small, small male handbag you put in the armpit. Small bag. They put it in the armpit. 
with with his uh, with his blue pen, that plastic pen, or uh, uh, in front of their shirt, looking for fake news to write. You 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 UMP you UMP you are not a UMP because that UMP that one more time. When I go after COVID nineteen, I'm going to US. Oh my God, we welcome me in US. The same people that are welcoming me, you are. She make me here. Look at if and lies. Very very sad. Very very sad. Unbelievable. UMPO has nothing as our deputy law to chairman for. UMPO has nothing, nothing, nothing to do with political status of Biafra. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. And some people fell for the job. Look at the look at his face. Law is lying. Have I ever lied to you? How can I be? I don't know what people gain from lying. Why do you love lying and listening people? What do you gain from it? You have a, you have you have you went into the struggle, spoiled our name, destroyed Biafra completely. You went into hotels, into mansions. You never built a house yourself. It's the money of Biafra you used to build where you're living. You are not even ashamed. You are not ashamed. How can I build a house with money given to me to go fight for Biafra? How can there be a hill at the front and be resting at the back? You build a house after you have gotten Biafra, not before. You are in a house you did not work for. You got the money from people, you built it, and you installed that house. You are still lying from the house. Shame on you. Shame on you. Always lies. Lies. When I went to you and you saw me, when I went to EU, you saw me very clear and vividly. When I was lobbying senators in America, you saw me vividly. I don't hide it. Call all the people. You will know. You are busy lying. You are, you are, you are in no way. You are lying. That UMPO will give you your friend. Ay, 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 ay. No, no longer your friend passport. Or, or plate number. It is now UMPO. Anything you find to lie with, you lie. As old as you are. You should be a Nigerian. You have no business to do with Biafra. You are. You have Nigerian blood in you. Very, very sad. Very, very sad indeed. Unbelievable. Who are the people, in, who are the people that go to a meeting with UMPO? All of you are jumping up and down. We are in UMPO now. Who do you go to a meeting with? I will tell you. There is a group called EFEND for Women's Development. They are part of uh, ECOSOGO that UMPO is part of. <laughs> that, sorry, that UMPO is registered with. There's another Omar Dibo, even Omar Dibo, Nigeria. <laughs> Omar Dibo is in the zoo. They are part of it. Omar Dibo in the zoo. The people you went and paid $2,000 to receive that useless letter, you convinced a, a wretched journalist to publish that you're not getting Biafra through UMPO. Oh, my people in the zoo are also members of the Kosong. It means nothing. Uh, rubbish. And of course, World Book Congress. Uh, uh, you, you, that UMPO is a branch of UN. Can you believe such nonsense? I We kept quiet all this while because if you keep your was looking, if you keep your mouth shut and keep you keep lying to my son, bro, the two or three hundred you have left, that's okay. Because we respect the achievement in this very effort we are in. But for you, as a leader of myself, to come out and be lying in the open, we Biafra cannot be built on lies. Biafra can never be built on lies. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. For your information. So you are warned. You are warned. You are warned. Instead of you to, to, to respond to what is happening. To the invasion of our land. You are busy talking about rubbish. Talking about UNPO. An ordinary, a wretched group in the in, 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 in the Hague. You are paying them money to attend a meeting with whom you don't know that meeting they're going to, to discuss myself. You don't know how in Nigeria is there. 
You don't know. I am your. Ay, ay, ay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's the last I'm going to talk about him. I hate lies. All this is your stupid lies. Take it and keep it in your in your in your mansion. You built with money. You, you think because you built a house with money given to you to fight for Biafra that others are like are like you? That I'm like you? Anyway, when you're not poor people shouldn't be in freedom fighting. I keep saying it all over and over and over again. Over and over again. People are dying, being shot dead by customs, by army, by police. Terrorists are on the prowl, destroying and damaging every facet of life. And your people are telling me they're proud to be to be <laughs> to be to be Nigerians. And um I have an update from MBC. That uh, Supreme Court Governor. <laughs> I am sure people know that man and they, they can reach him. <laughs> Tell hope who's on the man that he is looking for our trouble. Those that put him in power are dead. The zoo is crumbling. Not to my people start saying, oh, but he's your brother. Uh, uh, pity him now. I am telling hope who's on the man. You spent many years as a fraudster in Lagos, duping people and making money. Put your hand in your pocket and pay your friends eight million if you want. Not the people of Mbise. I understand the one House of Re Assembly member uh, brought out one million. I'm waiting to get his name. Then we'll teach him a lesson. I said no person from Mbise is paying a dime. Not Mbise at home. Not Mbise in the diaspora. Who puts on them? Pay them the money. You threaten them. I have the. There's nothing you do we don't know. Even the zoo. There's nothing they do in the zoo that we don't know. How talkless of you. A wretched idiot put in there by somebody who is now dead. About here. To come and serve for an interest. So they can invade our land through you. You are, you are, you are a drunkard. They went to a meeting. Because during the war. Ezudo is special to me because my aunt is married there. My cousins are from there, from Ezudo. That was where we were during the war. That was where I stayed. My parents were, yeah, my mother took care of me there during the war. In Ezudo. My younger brother was born there in Ezudo during the war in Mbisa. So Mbisa is very dead to us. If you don't know, let me tell you. Ezudo cannot pay anything. Neither will him be say pay you anything. Put hand in your pocket and pay your full and friends. And I will tell you why. There, there is one man called um uh, let me tell you the, those who attended this meeting. Chief Onyebelechia was there. There's one man called Papilo uh Oboga, that doesn't sound uh, who is the PG of Ezudo. Chief Nam the Obilam, who is the Secretary Chief David Oswabo, is the Roman abroad. His Royal Majesty Obilam Joe, Anyadike Mosu, I think it's Anyadike who is the member of the House of Assembly. He attended a meeting with the office of the governor or with the governor of Imo State. We asked some of you who buckled and said you will pay. And the House of Assembly member brought out one million. <laughs> Go and take your money back. Hope the will pay them. And for a very good reason. Who puts on him threaten them that if they don't pay, he will deduct 55 million naira from the Ezinihite local government allocation and pay to Fulani people. Fulani said that their, their, their cattle is worth 8 million or thereabout. And who puts on him is threatening Ezinihite uh, uh, local government area with withholding or should i say to confiscate 50, 55 million from the allocation and give it to full of the people <laughs> now who puts them man do you remember there's a market in, in kaduna called panteka market that the full is burnt down destroyed the businesses and killed many um uh, house uh, 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 many apprentices who were there who sleep in the stores are you aware of that it is called Pan Panteka Market in Kaduna. 
I want to ask you, who is going to pay us compensation for that? Since you want to start compensating people. Livelihoods destroyed in Kaduna. Panteka Market in Kaduna Metropolis. El Rufai is a fellow governor as yourself. Ask El Rufai, how much did you pay Igbo traders in Panteka Market when your people, John Jawid, bought it down? Are you listening? Are you listening? Because uh, some of you uh, 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 full and slaves in our land think we are stupid. But we are not. We are not stupid. We are not stupid. That is something that you need to understand. I want to remind you again and ask you, this is from Newsweek. Who is going to pay us the fire that broke out in Sabongeri and destroyed goods worth 10 billion dollars. 10 billion dollars. Not Naira. Who is going to pay us? Your post of them, I'm asking you. Who is going to pay? You want to pay for 50 million. From 8 million to 50. That's how you came forth and you became number one. From 8 million. Maybe that madness of not calculating something very well affected your brain. From 8 million to 50 million. You are threatening. Is it, let, go and take it now. Let's see. <laughs> it's all everything my people will talk. Take it now. Let us see. I, I'm monitoring everything. All the meetings that you are attending with the ethnic people, we are following it. As you do, be said, is special to us. My aunt is dead tomorrow morning. If you don't know, go now and collect uh, the money. Let's see. Go and collect it. And the idiots that gave you one million, uh, we will get him. He's a fool. It's an absolute idiot. Who will pay out 10 billion news week? An internationally recognized and reputable publication. The goods that we have destroyed in someone getting 10 billion dollars. Who will pay compensation? Who pulls up in my who will pay? I'm asking you. Yeah, you're a drunkard. You are a drunkard. You you pay. You are the reason why Fulani is getting away with murder. Spineless, weak men. Weak men that they gave us in Ibo land and across the African land. Weak men, weak, you are weak. Spineless. Cowards. You are the fools that they gave power to. That is why all of you are as daft as you are. They're invading our land, and all you can do is be asking for compensation for people that have come to kill you. You didn't hear what happened in Delta? I don't know what is wrong with us, the type of fools we have. Our land is being invaded, and all that some people are interested in is to go and look for land to sell. And as I have warned before, in Okunovute, in my town, opposite Golden Guinea is not for sale. There are some criminals. They know how serious we are, they want to sell. They know that they're advertising it for sale. If you give anybody money, you're wasting your money. It's gone. Because if you don't demolish those things, we'll demolish them for you. It will be demolished for you. It's a communal and an ancestral land. It is not for sale. It will be demolished. Don't say I didn't do I tell the things if I do them. Don't tell tell me tomorrow they didn't want me. If you go and take your windows, take the iron works you have in the houses. Because they'll be demolished. They'll be demolished. I don't know what is wrong with our people. And I have no idea what's wrong with them. And, and we are very close, very, very close. This year, the zoo is going to fall. Because after coronavirus, the zoo will be forced to produce the original Buhari. Or they go extinct. Simple. And instead of us to put all our energies into making sure that the zoo is extricated, some people are busy lying. Lying, others are busy trying to uh, appease uh, the foreign, others are busy looking for land to sell. What is wrong with you people? My goodness, if your uh, house is opposite God, you know, my in, in the ancient lands of my ancestors, you know, Buddha, go and remove the valuable fittings in those structures because they will be demolished. Demolished. So, in your next life, you don't go and buy ancestral lands from criminals. From from people who are unemployed in the village looking for land to sell. 
mad people everywhere. Had, if my father be alive, I won't be saying this. I will not. I won't have been because he's the king of I won't say it. Because he's no more. That's why I would have to say, because somebody needs to protect the poor and the vulnerable. Very, very important. That brings us to the end of our program this very day. A day that the zoo effectively ceases to exist. The day that the world now knows that Aisha Buhari is in charge. And the, the day also that we know how they have been faking it, how they have been lying, how they have been deceiving each and every one of us. But no more. Because in his infinite mercy, Elohim, an innocent IPOB, that even the blind may be able to see. And I believe that we have now alerted the whole world that even the zoo animals, those who see themselves as tissue, as used tissue papers, they can now appreciate not only our tenacity and our formidability, they appreciate our truthfulness, our sincerity and our sense of purpose. That is why, as always, without hesitation, fear, no favor, we decree and declare that Biafra is our religion. And here on Radio Biafra is where we worship because Elohim is our God. I thank you all very much for listening. From me, from here, it is good evening. <laughs>
It's an honor to have you on board. Mmm, when I'm single, I'm holy, 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 holy,